For the youthful god would not longer waste his time in coaxing words, and urged on by love, he pursued at utmost speed. Just as when a Gallic hound has seen a hare in the open plain, and seeks his prey on flying feet, but the hare saved him. He, just about to fasten on her, now, even now, thinks he has her, and grazes her very heels with his outstretched muzzle. But she knows not whether or not she be already caught, and barely escapes from those sharp fangs, and leaves behind the jaws, just closing on her. So ran the god and the maid. He sped by hope, and she by fear. But he ran the more swiftly, borne on the wings of love, gave her no time to rest, hung over her fleeing shoulders, and breathed on the hair that streamed over her neck. Now was all her strength gone, and pale with fear, and utterly overcome by the toil of her swift flight, seeing the waters of her father's river near, she cried, O oh, Father, help! If your waters hold divinity, change and destroy this beauty by which I pleased or well. Scarce had she thus prayed, when a down-dragging numbness 